Okay, I'm coming to you guys today. Welcome to Glean from His Word. I'm coming to show you a review of the Bible that I purchased. Now, I purchased this. I saw um, the beginning of December of 2020 where it said buy one, get one free. So I have this one as well as another one. I like the fact that it came in a nice box for it. It is leather. I don't know if it's, I don't think it's genuine leather, but that's okay. Um, right here, see where it says the Genesis and Franklin Legacy Study Bible. It's the New King James Version. Okay. Now, um, I did see where when I was reading the description of the Bible, when I was getting ready to purchase it, that. It had 150 50 articles by um, Franklin. So um, this is the table of contents right here. I love the fact, and I have this, I have his book. I read it one time where um, Dennis and Franklin talked about Dr. Elmer Towns. And I think he even forwarded a book for Dr. Elmer Towns about fasting. So let's go in the beginning and look through it this reminds me of another bible i purchased where it had symbols and i think it was the spirit bible so i, I do like this i did a review on it i don't know if I, I i took it down but i did do a review on it a while ago it talks about spiritual growth the hands are fasting the cross is faith the church is christian living the heart um, with the cross in it is marriage and family the little stars talks about supernatural. The sword is spiritual warfare. Let's see. You guys have to excuse my nails. I do apologize. I use these two to write so they break often. And I'm not cutting them as of now. Okay. So right here talks about Genesis. It has at the bottom right here where, you know, for Genesis 1 and 1, it has the letter A. So it, it references to john chapter 1 verses 1 through 3 the letter b it talks about acts chapter 17 verse 24 right here is his first article where it talks about your formula for success it has the little bible genesis chapter 1 verse 1 now let's see right here in the beginning the symbol it had for spiritual growth so we know when we read that article it's in regards to spiritual growth so it gives you a little article about it the great testimony then it talks right here where it says for the next article on spiritual growth turn to genesis chapter 8 verses 6 through 12 so it gives you i guess um where to go when it talks about spiritual growth after the article or I guess maybe in regards to article. I'm just going through it as I'm going through it with you guys. This one, see with the heart, with the, the cross, it talks about priests, prophets, and kings. And so then it tells you right here. The next article for the next article on marriage and family turn to Genesis chapter 23 verses 8 through 20. Talks about, and another thing that I like is the fact that for the title like in Genesis chapter 8 it says above it in blue Noah's deliverance. So I like the fact that it has a color different from the regular scripture in the Bible. So there's just more articles. Like I said earlier, I remember it saying that he had 150 articles on the description that I read. Let's go back. Um, this right here with the cross, a story of the divine romance, Jeremiah chapter three, verses seven through nine. So um, back here where it talks, I 
where I told you about Dr. Elmer Towns, where it talks about fasting in it. It has right here a spiritual topic index, spiritual growth, and it gives you where the articles are in the Bible. So if you wanted to go to um, Three Secrets for Success from a man named Shamgar Judges, it tells you right here, page 243. So you could talk about, um, read about it. And then at the bottom in blue, it'll tell you where to go next or where to read next. So right here it talks about fasting. Let me see. Can you see? Yes. Fasting right here. Then let's see. Right here is fasting. Now here's the articles where it talks about spiritual keys to fasting. An introduction by Dr. Um, Elmer Towns. Now in this, I like the fact that it explains spiritual keys to fasting. It's an introduction to it. And I do have a book. Comment down below if you guys would like me to do a review of Dr. Elmer Towns' fasting book as well. And it tells you how to start writing a journal during your fast, which that's good. Fasting to know God. I know in Mark 9 and 29, it says this kind comes out nothing but by prayer and fasting. And it says when you fast. So it's not like, okay, you know, when you fast means it's like a requirement to fast. You know, if you have medical conditions, do consult your, um, your, um, med get medical advice from your physician. So right here, it talks about a normal fast or juice fast, gives you a little description, the absolute fast, which some people call that a dry fast, the Daniel fast, also called a partial fast, um, a rotational fast, also called a Mayo Clinic fast. John Wesley fast practice uh, was practiced by Wesley, the founder of Methodist um, prior to a Methodist conference where the ministers gathered for retreat, revival and preparation for continual ministry. Wesley and the other leaders consumed only bread and water for 10 days prior to the conference to prepare themselves spiritually for teaching the pastors. And then, of course, the supernatural fast right here. So it tells you right here, a prayer list for your fast, family, work associates, church, Christian leaders, monthly issues. And then right here, how to fast, how to finish your fast. So um, gives you a little bit. Don't enter your fast casually or with a hit or miss attitude. And it tells you how to plan for it, a little brief description. And it says nine results of fasting. It gives it the nine results. Then the three devotional fast models. Um, uh, and I remember, Doctor, if you guys want me to do a review, like I said, of Dr. Elmer Townsend's book, which is good. It explains the different types of fasting, like who, like the Ezra, the discipleship fast. Um, here's three-day devotional fast it has a three-day devotional fast a seven-day devotional fast and a 21-day devotional fast like for the three-day one right here devotional fast let me see if you guys can see it a little bit better three-day devotional fast right here has day one preventative fast then it has a prayer right here prayer i don't know if you guys can see it let me see if i can Zoom in a little bit. It has the Lord prayer. Then it has day two fasting against known problems and threats over here. Prayer. It has a prayer right here. Then this is um, devotional for seven day fast. So I do like this. It gives you a guide when you're reading the Bible and a devotional for your fasting. If you wanted to supplement it, you can purchase Dr. El Dr. Elmer Town's book as well. It's a little bit more in depth than what it is back here, but this is still good. It talks about corporate fast, um, crown casting, worship. I mean, I'm really intrigued to read, of course, the Bible, um, Dr. Franklin's um, articles. Because I really like that. I know Charles Stanley has those. And I love reading his articles. 
and I still read them today. I might have read them a month ago, but I'll read again if I'm studying that, you know, that that um scripture, the area, and he'll have um an article. So that's really, really good. Like I said, I haven't really gone in depth to look at it, but I, I'm really wanting to read the back of it and some of his articles. So if you guys want to know more, um, just comment below and I will try to um, reply or get back with you guys. Thank you. Welcome. And thank you for watching the video. I do appreciate it. And as always, glean from God's word. It's where we collect information bit by bit to illuminate our souls and the people around us. Blessings.